Hi, we're going to talk about the phase equilibrium constant and notice the symbol on it is k sub b. Um, so I have a generic equation up here um, and we've got b standing for base. All right, now you'll recall a base is going to accept a hydrogen. Uh, so we have this base aqueous solution that's going to react with water. Um, another little side note, how do I know that this is a base reaction? If you have a base next to water, we classify that as a base reaction, okay? So for example, down here, ammonia is a base, is next to water, it's going to react with water, so I would classify that as a base reaction. If I had an acid plus water, that would be classified as an acid reaction. Um, so this base is going to accept the hydrogen, there it is, on the product side. So here's its conjugate acid. The hydrogen attaches to the base, so it gets the plus sign. Um, it's going to have that positive charge plus okay, the hydrogen here um, from the water, that water is acting as the acid. One hydrogen is going to donate, there it is. So the uh, conjugate base is now that OH minus. Um, if you have questions on naming acid, uh, conjugate base, base, conjugate acid, watch my video under the acids base playlist. Um, okay. So we're going to write the equilibrium expression and how we've done it now for like lots of videos is going to be K. Now, we classify this as a base because it's base plus water. So I put a subscript B. There's nothing magical about that. I could really literally just leave it K. I'm just being specific and um, clearly telling the reader, hey, this is a base reaction. So here's the equilibrium expression for the base reaction. It's just going to be products divided by reactants. Uh, we want to know the ratio of products and reactants when we come into that beautiful equilibrium. The forward rate uh, equals the reverse rate. So let's take our products. We're going to have this HB with the positive charge raised to the one power, understood to be a one, so I'll leave it blank. Um, the reader will know that's a one exponent, times, remember that's a multiply, the concentration of hydroxide divided by the reactants. Uh, now you know that we only use aqueous and gas. We never use liquid or solid when we're doing the equilibrium expression. Therefore, we don't use water. Yay, you don't have to write it down. All I write down is B. Now that is the generic formula for any base reaction. When you have a base reacting with water, this is always what you're going to end up with. It's going to be the conjugate acid times hydroxide divided by the base. So I wanted to show you that in a real example. We're going to have ammonia reacts with water to produce ammonium uh, plus hydroxide. Um, how I keep these two straight, ammonia ends with an A, has an NH3. Ammonium ends with an M, has the NH4. So A comes before M, three comes before four. That's how I remember ammonia, ammonium, the difference between the two. Okay, let's write it down our base equilibrium expression, our KB, that's the equilibrium constant, the ratio of products over reactants when we reach equilibrium. This is going to equal products, ammonium <laughs> times the hydroxide divided by ammonia. And that's going to be my NH3. So let's compare, check it out. There is our conjugate acid, so there's the acid, times hydroxide divided by the base. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Well, have a wonderful day. Thank you.